using objects for lookups in JavaScript. Objects can be thought of as a key value storage, like a dictionary. Makes sense. With a dictionary, you pick a word, any word that's contained within that dictionary, and you look it up, and you're returned with its definition. So, if you have tabular data, you can use an object to look up values rather than a switch statement or an if-else chain. This is most useful when you know that your input data is limited to a certain range. And below we are provided with an example of a simple reverse alphabet lookup. So, we are presented with variable alpha, which is an object, and its properties names are numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 26. Each one of our properties then contains a string value with a letter of the alphabet in reverse. So, our property 1 contains a string of Z, our property 2 contains a string value of Y, 3x and so forth all the way up to 26 which contains a string value of a and if we were to access one of our objects properties through either dot or bracket notation with one of our properties names we would be returned a string with the letter of the alphabet so for two accessing through bracket notation we would be returned a string of y for 24 we would be returned a string of c and below, we are provided with an example of accessing one of our object's properties through the name of a variable. So, since our variable value has been assigned a value of the number 2, and we access our object through calling that variable's name, we would be returned a string of y because 2 has been assigned to the variable value. So, this would return y. And below they are stating the same things I just presented. Alpha 2 is the string y, alpha 24 is the string c, and alpha bracket notation value is the string y. And then we are tasked to convert the switch statement into an object called lookup and use it to look up our value right here and assign the associated string to the result variable right here. So let's just break down what this function is currently doing with our switch statement. So our function phonetic lookup has a parameter of value. So a value is passed on to it as an argument. When we pass that value into our function, our switch statement then compares said value to uh, whatever, whichever one, excuse me, of the case statements contained within it. If that value matches one of these case statements, then our result variable, which is currently an empty string, is assigned the string value contained within that case. So for alpha, if our value were to match up with case alpha, our result variable would be assigned atoms. And the same for the following cases. We need to change this switch statement. Um, sorry, we need to remove the switch statement and replace it with an object in order for our function to do the same thing. So we need to use these values as guides. Each one of these cases will be our one of our property names and each one of these string values will be the, the strings contained within each one of our properties. Let's get, let's get to doing that real quick. So we need to declare an object called lookup. And, as I said before, these are our properties. So, our first property will be alpha. Our second would be bravo. Our third, charlie. Our fourth, delta. Our fifth, echo. And the last but not least, our final property will be Foxtrot. Foxtrot, right there. And our the string value contained within our alpha property will be atoms. So atoms. For Bravo, it'll be Boston. 
for Charlie, it will be Chicago, right? Chicago. For Delta, it'll be Denver. And for Echo, easy. Almost left the out Foxtrot. For Foxtrot, it'll be Frank. So our object is now complete. We can go ahead and remove this switch statement, but we aren't done yet. We need to assign the associated string to the result variable. So how do we do that? We simply type in the following. Our result will now be assigned our lookup accessing our value. So if the property exists, if one of these properties exists within our object, then we would be returned that string contained within whichever one of the properties. Let's test that real quick. We have here our function being called with the value of Charlie. Charlie is one of our properties, so this function should return Chicago. Let's see if we are correct. There we go. Our challenge is now complete. And we've successfully used an object to look up the one of the properties within it and return the string contained inside of it. So that is how you use objects for lookups in JavaScript.